all that you need to create programs with Java, be desktop GUIs, websites, backends, anything really, is the Java Development Kit, more commonly known as JDK. And we're going to download and install a JDK in a couple of seconds. But first, what you need to know is basically three things. First, the two main JDKs being used are the Oracle JDK and the Open JDK. And in fact, Oracle JDK and Open JDK are built mostly from the same source, which means they're pretty much the same. But Oracle JDK has a few components on top of the Open JDK that have special licensing, whereas the Open JDK is completely free and open source. And apart from that, in previous versions, there was sometimes a stark technical difference between the two. But nowadays, with the new versions, that's pretty much gone. But in any case, I personally almost always download the Oracle JDK version for my development machine. And then depending on the customer, we either run OpenJDK or Oracle JDK on the production machines. So let's Google for Oracle JDK and click the development kit 8 link, which also brings us to point number two. The good thing about JDKs is that they're completely backwards compatible. That means you can download version 8 and run any program that was compiled under Java version 7 or 6, etc. And you never have to worry about version incompatibilities. And that's the main difference to languages like Python, where they're breaking changes between major language versions. And at the time being, Java version 9 is still under development, so we will simply download version 8. And the last point is you need to download the right JDK for your operating system. And as we're using Windows and I'm on a 64-bit Windows system, I'll simply use the x64 download link on the Oracle page. And very important on the Oracle page, click the accept license agreement checkbox. Good. Let's download the file. And then we have to uh, wait a tiny bit. And once the file has downloaded, we simply run the installer. What you can do is actually hit next a couple of times and wait again for the installer to run. And once all that has finished, there's one simple check to see if Java actually installed correctly on your machine. So open up a uh, command exit windows. Uh, hit uh, with the Windows button and type CMD. And then in there, you just execute Java dash version. And note there is no space between the dash and the version. And if everything went okay, you'll see an output something like this. 1.8, which tells us Java version 8 with a minor version of 131. And it's the 64-bit version. Great. You now know how to install the latest JDK for Windows, and you can now go crazy developing your Java programs. On to configuring version control software and the Java build systems in the next episode.